and another big welcome back to the Sardine News. It's been a fabulous day, so much fun. There's been uh, Sardines at Pamula, Rocky Bay, Scott Pro, Park Rooney, Yvonga, and many other places. We can't keep up to all the sightings at the moment, but these are the ones that are validated. And uh, thank you very much to Mr. Adam Kamdar for the lovely clip of Devon this very morning. And uh, to give you guys a proper perspective, here we're going to go to the sardine map. Right, the sardine map, 2023. So the most recent report from today was actually half an hour ago, and that was at Yuvongo. The shoal was uh, on the back line on his way to Yuvongo. And uh, yes, there's definitely a lot of action on this ocean today. So I'm going to try and get this map to speed up. But just to show you that today we got... Sardines at Pumula, Rocky Bay, Scottborough, Park Rennie, and then finally that's starting in Uvanga. Nets went in at Scottborough. I believe Rocky Bay also got 10 crates this morning. So yes, there are many sardines around. Many, and the conditions are actually right. So we're just going to stick to this map, which gets updated, as I said to you, every time it's a validated sardine uh, sighting. So in the meantime, back to the studio. Ah, thank you. It's a big moment back here in the Saudi News Studio. We've got to welcome on board our newest correspondent, Mr. John Costello, who hails from the Transcar deep. And he has got a real cool track record. He can turn a phrase and he can certainly snap a frame. So we have John featured on today's Sardine Report. Can you believe it? And he's got a cool theory, explanation as to why those sharks are going so berserk down there off Port St. John's, flying through the air. And... Uh, yeah, read all about it, and it's fabulous. We, I can't believe our luck we've got John on board, so everybody, yeah, like and subscribe, I suppose. Okay, moving on. We think we're having a good time down here on the south coast and in Durban and that, but uh, up north there's someone else who might be having a better time than us. Better go and check on Dwight. Yeah. Right, okay, let's see what Captain Dwight Rato of fishbuzzruto.com is getting up to. Brace yourself. All right, first off, we've got this amazing picture. The blue marlin are there. The blue marlin come in winter. And uh, Dwight catches them, boy. Uh, the other stories are all about fly fishing. Because wintertime can be difficult up there. It's not the same as summertime. But yeah, it's pretty much on, hey? Um, these guys really catch a lot of fish. I think he's been sending me video too, so I'm going to play a couple of videos quick. All right, shut. Right. Right, we're on board a jam-packed fishing out of Inyasora and we've got Greg on the wire. This is one extraordinarily frisky sailfish. I don't know where or what this guy ate for breakfast, but GCMs, he's performing. Anyway, he was released and these guys released two more and a couple of marlin and a whole lot of gamfish all in the same day. If you want to go fishing up there with us, fishbazaruto.com is the website for you to visit or just get in touch with me, Sean. Okay, moving on and away from these marlin. Right then, all the way back to Port Shepson, where we've got Alan to give us a brief shad report. This should have gone in the beginning. Morning, guys. Not much action at the uh, block this morning. Very quiet. Sea's picked up a bit. Got a Cape wind blowing at the moment, which is giving it a left current towards the north. Don't forget, this is in the protected area, so it's a lot calmer here. Out at sea, it's a lot worse. Enjoy your day. The next report will get that chronological order right. In the meantime, signing out, like and subscribe. And uh, thank you to all those people who already have done so. Ciao.